Ken, who, uh, who, wait a second, wait a second, I had this introduction prepared, I've been rehearsing it all night, who, who did, <laughs> left me a speech up here too, who in Mexico City did, did great honor to his country, and uh, now that things are going to get rolling, uh, all of us in boxing know that he's going to do great credit to boxing and to himself, the heavyweight champion of the world, George Foreman. We say in Mexico City he's done a great service for the country. In Jamaica he's done a great service for George Foreman. <laughs> uh, I have to say how glad I am to be before you guys again, taking pictures and you know, having something to write about. I miss being in the gym and working, and it's a pleasure to see Ken Norton so happy to get in the ring with me. Because... Hey there, George. Much, why did you? Uh... Uh, it was uh, an airplane, or how come you left the Ali to fight before him in the middle? I've been no attack on me. I think that uh, it was because of the press that I was able to get this great opportunity. They should, they could have lack, uh, decided not to write anything about me in the past, and I could have been just uh, uh, what's his name or anything. But as long as there's something said about me and various attacks and people paying some attention to it, there, there too you got blessings in disguise. So I don't think there's been no attacks on me. I'm been, I'm moving right along. George said that uh, there had been Ali, Fraser, um, you name it, offered an opportunity to fight you. Do you agree with that? Would you have been willing to meet any of those men in the past year? Yeah, I'll fight any of them, Marcus, any of them. I'll fight any of them. Whatever your question was, I'll fight any of them. George, I think Ken is the biggest heavyweight you've uh, come up against at 6-3. Is this going to make any... Uh... In announcing the fight yesterday in Los Angeles, Foreman just did beat a January 21st deadline imposed by boxing's governing bodies, the World Boxing Council, and the WBA. Announce a fight by then, he was told, or be stripped of the crown he won a year ago from Joe Frazier in Jamaica. It's a pleasure to have Ken and I very happy to get in the room with me because I've been out for a long time. And I need a fight. The bills keep rolling along. Lawyers are sleeping at my doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to tell Ken Martin he's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> uh, I heard you guys asking Ken Martin what does, what does he think of me. Well, I'd like to tell you what I think of Ken Martin. It's pretty much taken from a wise man. You know what a steamroll is? Well, I'd like to get a steamroll on, lay Ken Martin down, and run over and mash him flat. Outside of that, do you like it? Outside of that, I like it. <laughs> well, good morning. Um, this is quite a big step from, uh, I'd say, about a year ago at this time. I was kind of fighting quitting more than once. I, I, I thought about that. And uh, through fighting Muhammad and uh, the hard work of my ex-turner Eddie Futch, my back was, I've made it you know, pretty near the top now, and I feel that doing this fight, I will prove myself a, worthy, a very worthy challenger for uh, George's title. The fight will be presented in the United States and Canada on closed circuit TV. Foreman gets a $700,000 guarantee against 40% of the receipts. Norton, $200,000 against 20%. This is Pete Miller in Los Angeles. At the breakfast table, they sat far apart. Foreman the champ at one end, Norton the challenger at the other. Norton is a quiet, serious man, a one-time conqueror of Muhammad Ali. How does George Foreman compare? In fighting Muhammad, it was a, it was a question of uh, outthinking the man. Uh, it was like a game of chess. You try to make mistakes to make him make mistakes. It was a question of trying to nullify his speed. And with George, on the other hand, it's just the opposite. He has a uh, tremendous power. He's a very strong individual. I have to find some ways, as I said before, of nullifying his power. So the both Muhammad's a classic slugger, uh, boxer, and Foreman's obviously a classic, uh, classic slugger. Foreman almost shrugs off Norton, and when asked about why he doesn't defend his title, as have past champions... Well, I think that whenever you get a champion like champion that you speak about, a past champion, you're going to get a lot of contenders because he, certain people never did hurt anybody. He'd leave them on their feet and dance, and the, the guys would be following him all around the room still after the fight, be screaming they won. But after I fought people, they just... Nobody followed me around, how I'll get you the next time I want to rematch. <laughs> 